Hey everyone, so it's time for another declutter video. It is currently Friday night. It's 7.14. I wanted to do this a little bit earlier, but this is the time I have. My husband is putting our sweet little baby to bed, and I thought I would hang out and film a declutter video. I want to declutter my lip gloss collection. I think I also have lip oils in here as well. I've been loving lip glosses and lip oils so much over the past few years, and there are so many good formulas in my collection that I love. To be honest with you, I feel like I could probably reach for any lip product and be happy with how it looks, but I have a lot of great formulas that I feel like I don't get to wear because I have you know, quite a few products. So I'm pushing pause on adding new lip gloss glosses to my collection and during the spring and the summer I just want to enjoy what I have but I feel like in order to do that I want to also declutter products I'm not wearing as much either formulas that I'm not loving or certain shades that just don't work for me so that way when I open up my makeup collection I know that whatever I reach for is something that I just I love so much basically just a good refresh of my collection for the spring and summer seasons so I don't have a specific number in mind for lip gloss sometimes I do when I'm doing certain parts of my collection I just want to kind of condense it a little bit. I'll pass some of these products along to my mom and my sisters if they want them and then my nieces. They love coming over and playing with my lip products so I always save some for them as well. Let's start with this. This is the Milani Keep It Full Max Balm Shell. I like this product a lot. It is a plumping lip balm. It feels good on the lips. Sometimes when I don't know what to wear I throw this on. It's been in my everyday makeup drawer so I feel like I've been reaching for it a lot lately and if you've tried their Keep It Full Plumping Lip Glosses I feel like this basically feels the same on the lips but I am going to hang on to this product. Okay I have two of the Too Faced Lip Injections. These are both the Maximum plumps. It's probably the most effective lip plumper I've tried. So if you want a lip plumper that works, I do think this formula is great. It's a little bit painful though. I don't wear these all the time. I feel like I wear them on occasion. I think I'm going to keep the chocolatey bronze one and declutter the clear one. I'm definitely going to keep these lip glosses from CoverGirl. These are the yummy glosses. These are so beautiful on the lips. I absolutely love this formula. So they look a little bit more pigmented in the tube, but once you swatch them or wear them on the lips, they're kind of sheer. This one is your just jelly, but look how pretty that is. These are so perfect for the spring and the summer. They smell like fruit, they're super thin, just really glossy and pretty. This one is My Straw Booty. Love the color, the name is just a little bit weird. And then this one is Peach Out, which basically ends up looking like pretty much clear. I also have a purple toned one. I think it's called like Acai U or something like that, but that one I believe is actually in my car because I do wear that one. I wore it pretty recently. So this is such a good formula, super pretty. Definitely hanging on to these. I have a few lip glosses from Essence and Essence does make really great lip products. So I have two different formulas. I have the Extreme Shine Volume Glosses. So I have three of those. And then I have two of the Extreme Care Hydrating Lip Glosses. These are actually the label wore off, but I think they kind of market them as like, glossy lip balms, like a lip treatment, lip gloss all in one. And then these are just like sheer juicy lip glosses. I'm actually going to keep the glossy balms. I like this formula better. They don't have as many shades. I believe these only come in three shades. So I have soft peach and then I also have milky cocoa. This formula is so beautiful. It makes your lips look incredibly smooth and it does feel very, very nourishing on the lips. And again, there are only a couple of shades, but this color is super pretty if you love like a little bit of a lighter nude. So I'm going to keep those two, but I think I'm going to declutter these three. So these are the Extreme Shine Volume Lip Glosses. These work well enough. I wouldn't say they're anything spectacular. I mean, there are some that have a little bit more pigment than others, and I don't know. When you swatch them next to each other, maybe you don't see a big difference, but I feel like on the lips, this formula lasts longer, and this one tends to wear off just a little bit quicker. Again, not a bad formula at all. I'm pretty sure these are, I wanna say like three or four dollars. It's a nice formula to wear over like a lip liner or a lipstick because it's not sticky at all. Really shiny and pretty. They're not the most long lasting and they do have a little bit of a taste, almost like, I wanna say like a sweet, chemically taste that is pretty noticeable on the lips. So if you don't like that, I would skip over them. But I don't think you could really go wrong with either formula. I just think this formula is a little bit better. I have a few lip products from Rare Beauty. These are their Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balms. Easily one of my top five lip products of all time. They are basically like a glossy lip balm. Like the description is actually perfect. I wear these all the time. I'll swatch them for you. So this one is nearly neutral. You know what? This is the type of product that isn't going to look impressive when you swatch it. It's like the type of product you have to wear on the lips. This next one is nearly apricot. I think these are perfect for everyday wear because they're very lightweight, 
super glossy. If you wear them on their own, they definitely give you more of like a sheer look. This one is Nearly Berry. So again, they're not necessarily quite as glossy as like a true lip gloss. They definitely have like that liquid lip balm feel to them. So they leave your lips feeling super nourished, really hydrated all day long. And I love these. I'm definitely hanging on to them. This is the Bare Minerals Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm. It's super pretty on the lips. I just swatched it. I don't know that you... I don't know that I'll swatch like a ton of the clear products because I feel like they all end up looking the same on like a hand swatch. But I like this formula because again, it has like that balmy feel to it. So it just leaves your lips feeling really nourished. It's not sticky, but I do find that this lasts on the lips better than some of the other more clear glosses I have. So I'm going to keep this one too. And then I do have a few lip products from Catrice as well. I feel like this one is just supposed to be clear. What is the shade? Frosted sugar. Maybe it is supposed to have a little bit of a pink tint to it. I don't wear this clear one as much So you know what? I feel like I could declutter that one. I'll probably just save it for my nieces anyway I wear these two more often for sure I'm pretty sure there are four shades, but I guess I only have three So the pink one is called cherry blossom glow and then the more red one is raspberry glow This formula is so good. I feel like it's kind of an underrated formula I mean, I feel like I don't hear much about Catrice anymore these days because they're not at Ulta. This one, Cherry Blossom Glow, on the hand looks like pretty much clear, but on the lips it gives you a slight pink tint, but I love Raspberry Glow so much, especially during the summertime, because I feel like it gives you the perfect hint of red. If you like a little bit of a thicker lip oil, like a very nourishing formula, you'll love this. I guess I'll go through this section next. I think it mainly has Fenty glosses in it, Fenty used to be my favorite lip gloss formula ever. It's still one of my favorites for sure, but I feel like I have discovered other formulas I like, so I don't necessarily wear all of these shades quite as much as I used to. I have a few full-size glosses, and then I do have a bunch of minis because during the holidays, they usually have a set that comes with minis. Okay, let's start with these. I have four of the Gloss Bomb Heat. So I have Hot Chocolate Heat, Lemon Lava, Hot Cherry, and then also Fussy Heat. I am going to keep these. This is probably my favorite formula they make. I I like all of them. They all look good on the lips for different reasons, but I love this one specifically because they just have like this beautiful juicy glow to them. This is the only one that has shimmer in it, but I like the other ones because they don't have shimmer. So I feel like on their own they look great, but also paired with a lip liner they look amazing. This is my favorite during the summer, and then this is just one of my favorite glosses of all time. I have a couple of just like the original formula. This used to be my favorite. This is just like their regular gloss bomb in hot chocolate heat, and then I also have diamond milk. I feel like I could declutter Diamond Milk. It's so pretty, but I don't think I've worn it once in the past year. So to me, that is a sign I need to go ahead and declutter it, but I'm going to keep the other one. Oh, I also have this one. This one is definitely getting old. I feel like I should declutter this one because I've had it for years. And sometimes lip gloss is okay for years, but I do feel like this formula separates a little bit. And again, I just haven't worn this one. I tend to reach for the Gloss Bomb Heats a little bit more. So I am going to declutter Fussy. I have two of the Gloss Bomb Creams. Wait, are these the same shade? I guess I accidentally repurchased this when I already had it, which I did not even realize. So I'm going to declutter the one that I did not use and just pass that one along. But anyway, here's what this one looks like. It just has a little bit more opacity to it. I think that I thought I was purchasing a different one of the cream formulas and then apparently I ended up buying the same one. That must have been a long time ago because I don't even remember doing that. Oh wait, what's this one? I also have the Fenty Gloss Bomb Heat in Fenty Glow Heat. So this one is Lemon Lava, this one is Fenty Glow, this one is Fussy, Hot Chocolate Heat, and then Hot Cherry. So as you can see, they're pretty sheer. Like they're definitely not too intense by any means, but they look amazing on the lips. Like they just give your lips the most beautiful juicy glow. But the Gloss Bomb Heats are my favorite and then I like the original and then I like the Gloss Bomb Creams. But to be fair, I only have one Gloss Bomb Cream. Actually, this mini might be a Gloss Bomb Cream as well. Yeah, this one is in Peach Pout. This one is super pretty. I got this as part of a holiday kit. I don't have a ton of like super corally lip products, so I'm going to keep this one. This is the Gloss Bomb in Baby Brut. I'm going to declutter this one. It's pretty, but I feel like I do have other shades kind of similar to this. This one is in Taffy Tees. It's kind of more of like a sheer, almost pinky coral. Really, really pretty. I'm tempted to keep this one, but you know what? I just recently got this Rare Beauty lip balm, and I feel like they are kind of similar on the lips. Like, even in the tube, the colors are pretty similar. 
So I feel like I'll keep the Rare Beauty one and then declutter the Fenty one. And then this one is Ruby Milk. I actually feel like I've used a good amount of this one up. I'm going to hang on to this one. In the tube, it is very bright and I don't tend to wear like such intense glosses, but swatched or on the lips, it's a little bit more subtle. I actually think this looks so good on top of a nude lipstick, especially if I'm wearing more of like a pink eyeshadow look because it just adds like a soft touch of pink. So I'm going to keep this one. I feel like the Patrick Ta lip glosses look pretty similar on the lips compared to the Fenty formula. I also have a light pink one, which is not in here. I don't actually know where that one is right now. I just realized I'm missing it but I'll swatch these two for you. I have superficial and then also full syringe. These do have a little bit of a plumping feel to them, like a warm plumping feel. Very, very similar to the Fenty Gloss Balm Heats. It's not a cool feel like the Buxom formula, but again, very sheer, but I feel like these make your lips look so juicy, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to keep these two. And then I just got these two during the Sephora VIB sale. This one is from Amicole. It's in the shade Smitten. It is their lip oil treatment. And this is a gorgeous formula. I think that it is, to me, it feels more like a true gloss. It has a little bit of like that thicker texture to it. It's really pretty, very long lasting. And I feel like once it wears off, my lips definitely feel hydrated. And then I have the Lawless Forget the Filler and this one's in the shade Cherry Vanilla. I feel like this is going to be one of my all time favorite formulas. Like part of me wants to run out and buy additional shades. And then most of me is like, no, this is why I'm going through all of the formulas I have so I can see what I have and just kind of rediscover some older favorites because there are so many good formulas out there. There really, really are. But I know that I have other formulas that I probably love that tend to get ignored. So I have a couple of new products, but for the most part, I'm just planning on focusing on like a lot of older favorites for the next few months, especially when it comes to my lip products. Whenever I film lip product declutters, a lot of people suggest organizing my products based on color family instead of brand. But I usually like to do them based on brand because I feel like I know which formula I want for what type of look I want or like what I'm feeling that day. But I do kind of have them based on formula. So like these formulas are very similar. A lot of these formulas are very similar, but then I also have them broken down by brand. So if you're wondering why they're organized that way, that's why. My lipsticks are kind of organized based on color family, which I'm going to declutter my lipsticks next. So over here I have some ColourPop lip products. I'm actually going to go through these first so then I can put my decluttered products in this container. Okay, I have one of the Lux lip oils. I feel like there are just a lot of other lip oil formulas I tend to prefer over ColourPop. There's nothing wrong with this. I feel like it's almost more of like a lip balm, but a very lightweight lip balm. It's not too intense or too over the top, but I just haven't worn these. So I'm going to declutter this one. I'm actually, I guess I'm probably going to declutter these four as well. These are all Lux lip glosses. So I think these probably came out last summer. I know that I had them around since my last declutter and I just haven't worn them. So when I haven't worn something for like an entire year, that is definitely a signal that it needs to be decluttered. Again, nothing wrong with this formula. There are just so many other gloss formulas I love so much that I get excited to wear that I just haven't reached for these. So it is time to pass these along. I've never been like the biggest fan of ColourPop's lip glosses until they released these. I do think that these are better. This one is Epiphany and then this one is No Joke. They're not sticky, but I feel like they're a little bit more long wearing than these formulas from ColourPop. So if you want something that stays in place a little bit better, but still looks really pretty, super shiny, this is a nice formula. I'm going to keep like this pinky toned one and then declutter more of the clear one. I remember ColourPop launched this nude line last year when they also did their pressed powder bronzers. They came out with an eyeshadow palette that had like a bunch of neutrals in it and then a few pops of green and then also these lip glosses as well. These all look pretty similar swatched except for this one. I think I'll hang on to this one. It's called Newport and then I will declutter the other two. And then here are the other three. I think I'm going to hang on to this center one. It is so gorgeous. I don't know if they still make these or not because, you know, with ColourPop, they do end up discontinuing products fairly regularly, but this is beautiful. It's just a little bit more of like a cool toned deep nude. I think that will be so pretty on the lips. I haven't worn these in a little while, but I'm going to pass some of these other ones along because I haven't worn them a lot. So I feel like someone else would be able to enjoy them. I think a lot of the formulas in here are mainly lip oils. So I think I'll come back to this. And then, you know what, let me switch these. I'm going to do this container and then I'll finish up with this section. I have two of these Beauty Pie Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oils. These are so good. One of my favorite products of all time. I'm almost done with this one. Like you can see the tube. I've been like scraping the product out because 
I usually use this in the morning as I'm getting ready. There are a few products I'll kind of switch back and forth between, but this just leaves your lips feeling so smooth. And then the nude one is called Sun Haze, but I feel like they're basically like this super smooth, really glossy gloss that just looks really natural on the lips. I keep meaning to pick up additional shades of these, but again, I just need to push pause on buying new products, so I will continue to wear these. This is from Catrice. It's their Volumizing Extreme Lip Booster. I think it does do a good job. I am hanging on to a couple of other lip plumpers, so for that reason, I'm going to declutter this one. Here's another one of the Essence Glosses. So again, I'm just going to declutter these. This one's in the shade Candy Shop. Really pretty, but I'm hanging on to other formulas, so I do need to declutter a few. And then I do have quite a few of these NYX glosses. So these are two different formulas. The ones that have the milkshakes on them are my favorite. I feel like those are just like a little bit better. But I feel like I have, like, see, I have two of these lighter nudes and then two of these darker nudes, but two are the milkshake formulas and then two aren't. I feel like the ones that don't have the milkshake on them are a little bit more subtle. Let me just swatch them next to each other. So they're both milk and honey, but this one is like the original This Is Milky Gloss, and then this one has the milkshake. So I'm going to keep the one with the milkshake. I just like that formula a little bit better. I feel like it makes my lips look extra smooth. I don't need both of them, though, so I'm going to declutter the other one. I don't know, these are pretty different, even though they look so similar in the tubes. So this one is cookies and milk, and then this one is chocolate shake. So cookies and milk, and then chocolate shake. I'm actually going to keep both of them because I feel like they are different enough. Like this one is definitely lighter. This one has a little bit of pinkiness to it. And then I also have a red one. This one is in cherry milkshake. Honestly, this line is so good. In my opinion, I feel like these are better than a lot of high-end glosses I have. Like look how smooth they look. They look amazing on the lips. If you don't want to spend a ton of money on a lip gloss, you honestly do not have to. Like these NYX, these NYX glosses are so good. And actually, these NYX lip glosses are so good too. These are the Fat Oil Lip Drips. So I have the shade Status Update and that Chic. This formula is nice because it stays in place so well. I feel like some people say this formula is comparable to like the Dior lip oil, which I've never tried. So if you guys have tried that formula, you'll have to let us know if that's true. But like, Look how good these look. They all look so shiny, incredibly glossy. They feel so smooth, very hydrating. I'm definitely hanging on to all of them. It is time, unfortunately, to part with my e.l.f. Mint Melt Lip Plumping Glosses. These are some of my favorite lip glosses. Honestly, I'm still waiting for e.l.f. to launch like an entire line of these, but mine are getting old and they're not that old, but I feel like the last few times I've used them, I noticed that they're really separating in the tube. They don't always mix up to look as good. So sometimes if it separates and then I feel like you can't get it back to like its normal smooth, finish in the tube that's usually a sign it's expired. I think the cookies and dreams ones are still good. These came out like an entire year later and I haven't noticed any separating with them. So I have like a clear one. I also have this black one, which looks amazing on the lips. I always forget I have this one, but it looks so, so pretty, especially paired over just like a nude lip liner. I feel like it just adds like a touch of coolness to the lips. It's really pretty, and then I also have a clear. So I'll hang on to these three. This is the Essence What the Fake Plumping Lip Filler. I think this actually does a really good job. It's very, or it's a little bit more subtle compared to like the Too Faced lip injections, but it's definitely not as painful. But I am keeping other lip plumpers, so I'm going to declutter this one. I think I'm actually going to declutter this LA Girl Lip Oil as well. I think this is nice. It's in Shimmer Coconut. I just don't think it's anything spectacular. And again, I feel like there are so many other... Ooh, it feels nice. Now that I'm swatching it, I'm like, should I declutter it? Let me just put it on my lips. As I was swatching it, I was thinking like it had like a very oily feel to it. And it just felt really... It just felt really good on the lips. So you know what? I would hang on to this one for a little while longer. Then I have these two LA Girl lip glosses. These have a lot of pigment to them. So I have two shades. I have Chill and then I also have Peach. These are nice if you like a very pigmented lip gloss, but these basically are like liquefied lipsticks. This shade, unfortunately, just doesn't look great on me. Every time I wear it, I don't love how it looks and I feel like I end up taking it off. This one is chill and then this one is peach. I do love peach, so I'm going to keep that one, but I think I'm going to declutter chill. I just don't end up reaching for it because I feel like it's almost, I don't know, like it's, it's a little bit too orangey, 
but the base just looks, it doesn't look good with my skin tone. Okay, these are all of my Tower 28 glosses. Honestly, I have a few more than I thought I did. So, okay, I'm going to declutter this one. This one is in Chill. It's just a clear gloss. To be honest, I'm not generally like the biggest fan of clear glosses. I just don't reach for them. And I'm not sure that I've really worn this one, maybe like once. So I'm going to pass that product along. I just realized I have two of these as well. Again, I don't know why I have two. Did I buy a set? that came with an additional one. I know that I didn't purchase the same shade online twice. Sometimes I do that if I think I lose my favorite lip gloss and then I can't find it. I'm pretty sure this is the newer one, so I'm going to pass this one along. So I only have three nudes. I have chestnut, almond, and cashew. Here's what they look like next to each other. Chestnut, almond, and cashew. I just wore chestnut the other day and it just didn't look great on me. I got this as part of a holiday set and I feel like, again, every time I wear it, I'm just not in love with how it looks. I feel like I can kind of correct it if I go in with a lip liner afterwards, but I feel like that's just not necessary because I do have these other two that I love. Again, which ones were these? This one is almond and this one is cashew. I'm going to hang on to these two and declutter chestnut. This one is pistachio and then this one is sesame. I'm going to keep both of those as well. And then I'll just swatch the other two underneath. Spicy is actually one of my favorite reds. It's so pretty, just like really juicy, very glossy. And then also the shade Fearless. This one is a little bit more intense. I feel like this is one of the older ones, but it's still good. Some of you told me your Tower 28 glosses go bad kind of quickly, so I feel like that is something to keep in mind. Personally, I haven't had that issue. I've had some of mine for a while and they're still good. One of the mini ones ended up going bad a little bit more quickly, but all of the full size ones are still good. So I'm going to hang on to most of them. Okay, I do have a few glosses from Kaja. And again, I feel like I'm missing a few. I thought I did a good roundup before I sat down to film this declutter video, but you know what, lip products just end up everywhere. Like they end up in multiple rooms in my house. Like I said earlier, my car, my baby's diaper bag, my wallet, like literally everywhere. So that's usually what happens to my Kaja glosses. I know that I'm missing three of them. So I have all of the full size ones, or you know what, maybe I don't have the clear one. I know that I have three, at least three. And this is the shade Milk Tea, which is like a very light nude. And then I also have Pink Drink. I do have the full size version of Pink Drink. And then this was a limited edition one in Berry Slushy. I love Kaja's formula so much. It's so glossy, so gorgeous. Definitely one of my top favorite lip glosses. I know I keep saying that, but honestly, like this one would probably make it into my top three. It feels expensive. Like on the lips, it feels very luxurious, very, very smooth. It makes your lips look incredibly glossy. And like I said, they came out with this limited edition shade, Berry Slushy. I feel like this needs to be part of their permanent line. They're so pretty, a little bit sheer. So if you're looking for something like intensely pigmented, this is not the line, but look how glossy they look. They just look like liquid glass, so pretty. So I am hanging on to these. And then I have a few glosses from Mented. These are a little bit more subtle, like they're not super intense glosses. If you want like a very light, thin gloss, kind of something that has like a little bit more of like an oily texture, not the most long lasting, just like very lightweight. This is a nice formula. Here's what the swatches look like. I'm going to keep this berry one and then also this like really pretty brown toned nude, but I think I'm going to declutter this raspberry shade. It's just not a color that I typically reach for super, super often. So I'm going to give that to my mom. Then I have these glosses from Into You that I love so, so much. Again, I feel like one of these are always with me when I'm leaving the house because they're so beautiful. So they have like this gorgeous, glossy sheen to them, but as they wear off, they kind of leave like a subtle, tint to the lips. It's not quite as intense as like the Fenty glossy lip tint. What is the name of that? Completely blanking on the name, like the hydrating lip stain. It's not that intense, but it is a little bit more subtle on the lips. So I feel like the color lasts a little bit longer than a true lip gloss, but you still get like that gorgeous glossy finish. So these are actually just numbered like one, two, three, four, five. These look so good. I just think they're so pretty. I love wearing them. They look amazing on the lips. I love that they come in like different tones of nude, but this formula is so good. They look amazing on the lips. So I'm definitely going to hang on to those as well. I am going to declutter my Makeup by Mario glosses. I do have three of these. These are really beautiful. You know what? They don't get as much hype as the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums, which I think those are actually with my lipstick. So I'll talk about those in my next video, but these are pretty. So I have Golden Nude, rose nude and then mauve nude so here's what they look like in the packaging but i'll swatch them for you the moisture glow plumping lip serums are super pretty like they're definitely glossy on the lips 
but they don't feel like a traditional lip gloss. They're very, very thin. Whereas these do have like a little bit more of a thick texture to them. So they give your lips a really smooth appearance. They almost have an iridescence to them and I feel like it just kind of throws off the color just a little bit. Like the base color is a color that I would like to wear, but then the shimmer, like you can, you'll just be able to see when I swatch them or like when I turn my hand. Can you see like this one almost has like pink and blue and purple shimmer in it. The center one has like pink and orange in it. I don't know that you can really tell that much. Like looking at it in person, I can definitely tell. And I just don't love the way it looks on my lips when it's like constantly shifting. I feel like I want to know what color I have on my lips. And I don't really want it to look different depending on the way the light hits my lips. So for that reason, I don't wear these quite as often. If they came out with just like cream shades in this formula, I would totally buy them again because I think the formula is really good. I just feel like these are not the shades that I love to wear. These are the Flower Beauty Plump Up Gloss Sticks, which I love. I have Toasty, Spicy, and Fiery. These are amazing. Like these have easily become one of my favorites. Okay, so on the left is toasty, the center is spicy, and then on the right is fiery. So when these first launched, a lot of people were comparing them to the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. They're definitely different than those. These are a little bit thinner, like they're a little bit more balmy, whereas the Tarte formula is a little bit more glossy, slightly thicker. So I feel like sometimes I actually prefer this formula because it's a little bit more natural on the lips. I would say it's maybe like slightly more similar to the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums, but not quite as like thin as that formula. I feel like it's the perfect balance between the two. So at this point, I do have quite a few of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips, and then I have a few of the plumping version as well. I will swatch them for you. I don't know which ones are permanent and then which ones were limited edition, because sometimes Tarte does do like little sets during the holidays, and I have picked up a few of those. All of these are available. So these are the plumping version. So I have White Peach, Poppy, and then also Honeysuckle. So again, here's White Peach, Poppy, and then Honeysuckle. I got these two during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. So I haven't really worn them very much yet, but this is definitely going to be a staple of mine during the spring. These are like the worst swatches I've ever done. This one is coconut, this one is ginger, orchid, and then wild berry. I had a fifth one, but it doesn't have a name on it. So I have absolutely no idea what it's called. It's this one here. It's kind of in different packaging too. So I feel like it came as part of a holiday set. It's kind of like a red toned one. I do have the shade Rose, but again, I feel like that's one of my favorites. So I think I just saw that upstairs in my kitchen somewhere. I just found the sticker. This one is Cranberry. So let me just swatch it for you just in case that one is available as well. That's what that one looks like. So I am going to hang on to all of these. I feel like I just like to have them. They're beautiful. So I have the Buxom Plump Shot. This is their lip plumper. I am going to hang on to that one. So I have White Russian. I am going to keep this one. This is like an old school product. It is really beautiful. It's like a light pinky nude. So I feel like, I don't know if they discontinued it and then they brought it back. This one is Dolly Daiquiri. They're kind of similar. Actually, I'm surprised that one is lighter because I thought White Russian was the lightest one I had. I'm going to give this one to my mom. My mom's favorite lip gloss formula is Buxom. She loves the product so much. Like usually during Christmas, I'll get her one of the sets with the minis because Buxom always has really good holiday sets as well. And she just loves their formula. It is one of my favorites too. But I feel like, I don't know, at this point there are other formulas I tend to wear a little bit more. This one is Seychelles Breeze. And then the last cream one I have is called Pacific Punch. I think I want to keep Seychelles Breeze, but declutter Pacific Punch. That's really pretty. Like that would look amazing on the lips, but I don't know that it is my shade. So again, I'm going to pass that product along to her as well. I have a couple of other ones. This one's Claire. I've had this forever. I feel like it has to be getting up there in age. But I don't know, again, there's no signs that it's going bad. So I'm going to hang on to it for a little bit longer. It's still good. This one's Celeste. I'm going to declutter this one because it actually ends up looking clear on the lips. And I'm just not like a big clear lip gloss person these days. This one is Ginger. It's fine. But again, I do have other nude glosses. So I'm going to declutter this one too. And then the last one is Brooke. 
I feel like I've had some of these buxom glosses for a while. That one's pretty. It's like a lighter, softer pink. Again, I'm going to declutter it. I just haven't worn it very much. I feel like my most worn buxom lip gloss in my collection is probably Claire. And then I have been wearing white Russian a little bit as well. These are from Makeup Revolution. I love these. They have such bad reviews on Ulta's website, but I think they're so pretty and I love the way they feel. I love the way they look. This one is berry pink. These are called the Ceramide Lip Swirl Glosses. So I will say I don't wear this shade as much as the other one, but I still like it. Even though it looks pretty pink, like when you initially swatch it, once you really like blend it in and apply it well, it ends up shearing out quite a bit, but I love this one. This one is Cherry Mauve. They're not incredibly glossy glosses, which kind of sounds bad, but they almost have like that balmy texture to it. Again, like a liquid lip balm feel. So I love wearing them because they feel really good. They're definitely hydrating on the lips. So I am going to hang on to these. Okay, I have three of the Milani lip oils, Strawberry Melon, this one is Cherry Lime, and then this one is Raspberry Peach. I'm not going to swatch these because they they look somewhat similar when you swatch them on the hand. They look pretty intense in the, let me just swatch one of them for you, just so you can see. But they're, they look pretty intense in the tube, I was saying, but they're kind of subtle, like once they're on the lips. So I love these, especially during the spring and the summer, because they just give my lips such a pretty tint. They smell amazing. They have like a strong fruity scent and they just look really good. So these are definitely one of my favorite lip oils. This is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. I have jojoba and peach. I've had a couple of them throughout the years, and I like this formula because it is incredibly nourishing. Like I find that it, once it wears off, my lips feel very moisturized, and it's a little bit thicker. Like I do find that it's slightly longer lasting than some other lip oil formulas. If you want something very thin, like incredibly oily, like this almost drips off the applicator, this is a good option. These are $4 from Profusion. Definitely not the most long lasting, definitely not like the most nourishing, but just like a very lightweight, like true oily lip oil. You can, I feel like you can even tell in the swatch. These glasses are from Item Beauty. Unfortunately, they're not sold anymore. I don't know if Item Beauty is going out of business. I know they left Sephora, unfortunately. I actually really liked their products, but they are no longer available at Sephora. But I'm going to use these up fully because I love them. They smell like peach rings. They're so juicy, really, really pretty. And then I have three of these Juicy Bombs from Essence. This one is Sweet Peach. It ends up looking clear on the lips. This one is Watermelon Crush. This has like a little bit of a tint to it. These are really nice. I feel like they're the most affordable lip gloss I have in my collection. They kind of have like that lip oil feel to them. They're very thin, but so shiny, really pretty. This one is acai, but this is a really pretty, just like light, juicy nude. And then I do have two of the Dewy Full Water Tints from Romand. I actually have a couple of their lip products. And I feel like maybe they're in with my lipsticks because sometimes I consider this type of product a lip gloss, sometimes I consider it a lipstick. So these are really nice. I feel like these are a really good alternative to the new Rare Beauty lip oils. I got mine from Yes Style. Oh, they're so pretty. Every single time I wear these, I love them. So they basically have like that glossy sheen as you apply them. And then once that layer wears off, you're left with a stain. But I feel like this formula is better than Rare Beauties because it's definitely glossy, or the gloss is a little bit more intense initially. So here's Coral, here's Berry Divine. I'm going to give them a second to kind of dry down in stain. But as you can see, like they have a pretty glossy finish. And then as that glossy layer like naturally wears off, it does leave behind a little bit of a stain. I think they're a really good alternative to the Rare Beauty ones. A lot of K-Beauty brands make products like this, and I feel like I didn't know that because I just started getting into K-Beauty in 2023. I did do a couple of YouTube shorts on some of my favorite K-Beauty products. I was working with Yes Style. It was really cool because they actually just let me pick out like a bunch of products I wanted to try, and then they let me have like full creative freedom over anything I wanted to feature. So it was really fun to discover a bunch of K-Beauty products. I need to do some like full YouTube videos on them because now at this point I've tried a lot of brands a lot of products and typically I do love their skincare products so much but there are also a lot of really good makeup products too okay anyway let me count everything and I'll see where I'm at so here's a look at my lip gloss collection and lip oil collection before I started I started off with 141 and then here's what it looks like afterwards so I'm keeping 100 and I'm decluttering 41 like I said I have a few more upstairs randomly so 
I don't know that it's enough to make like a big difference. So for the most part, I'm decluttering about 30% of my collection and keeping 70%. I feel like that's pretty good. Honestly, after decluttering these, like I truly feel like every single product I have left is something that I just genuinely love so much. And I'm even more excited to wear these products during the spring and the summer because now like I can actually see what I have and I can rotate through these products a little bit like it'll be a little bit more practical to actually get to use most of these products this summer. Like I said, I'm pushing pause on adding a bunch of new lip products to my collection. It is my job to review makeup. That's how I make my living, how I pay my bills, obviously. But at the same time, I feel like I like to strike a balance and not always be focusing on new makeup, but also just enjoying what I have. And I have so many good formulas that I'm excited to wear. So I feel good about this collection refresh. I can't wait to wear these. And thank you so much for watching. I'll be uploading or I'll be filming and then uploading my lipstick decluttered next. And then after that, I'll probably do eyeshadow palettes. That will definitely be interesting because I'm not really in like a big big eyeshadow palette phase right now so I feel like I'll probably be able to do more than 30% but anyway thanks for watching I'll put some of my other declutter videos on the screen for you and I'll see you very soon with a new video bye